welcome once again to our channel SPD Lord Chess. Today we are going to be looking at the movement of each of the chess pieces. In our last video, we discussed the arrangement, how to arrange the piece on the board. So we are familiar with that already. So today we'll be proceeding to learn the movement, how they move, how each of these pieces move. All right. So we're going to I will arrange my side of the game, and my friend here. Mr. Kenneth will do his own arrangement as well. I'm SPD and I'll be your host. Thank you very much. So let me arrange my piece now. These are my eight pawns on the second row. The eight pawns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then the rook, the two pillars right here. The queen, the white queen stays on the white spot the white king stays on the black spot then my knight the first knight comes here the second knight here the bishop and the second bishop now my piece are ready for battle okay. all right okay the pawns stay on the second row there are 18 numbers we have our pillars also known as the rock the knight, one on the left, one on the right. Then we have the bishop, and we have the king and the queen. Arrange. All right. So there's a little error in the arrangement. Okay. Yeah. It's like the, the yes. king supposed to come to yes. the left. All right. All yeah. Right. The, the the queen maintains her, her color, but the king yes, yes, yes. changes color. Yes. So the, the black okay. king stays on white spot, while the white king stays on black spot. All right. Okay. Okay. So we are all set. The arrangement is complete and perfect. Now we're going to go ahead with the movements of each of these pieces. These are the pawns, eight pawns. We also call them the, the foot soldiers. They are the ones that the, the the king can send them on errand anytime. Go to the battlefield. Go and do this, go and do that. Go and deliver a message, go and deliver the weapons, go and do anything. So, we are going to see how they move. Now, the pawn can move one step forward. The pawn can move one step forward. The pawn can also move two steps forward. The pawn can also move two steps forward. Now, but... There is a condition for the pawn to move two steps forward. This two step forward movement is only possible if the pawn has not moved before at all. This is this row is the home of the pawns. This is their home. So they can only make two step movement for their first movement. They can make two step movement. It is not compulsory that you make this two step movement. It is by choice. It depends on where your king is sending you to fight. All right? So, for example, if I have moved one step already, I can't move two steps again because I'm already out of my house. All right? Once I'm out of my house, I've made one step already, I can't make a double step again of the pawn. It is not allowed. The double step of the pawn is only made as the first movement, first movement of the pawn. You can make a double move, double step forward. All right. Okay. And another thing you should know about the pawn is the pawn's movement is forward ever, backward never, until it is terminated. Forward ever, from the home. Forward ever. Double step, forward ever. It doesn't go backward. The pawn doesn't go backward. It's forward ever. They are the foot soldiers. They don't go backward until they die in the battle. Until they are put out of their misery. <laughs> These pawns are very good. I love them a lot. If you know how to use them, they can actually fetch you a queen. Yes. This pawn can actually fetch you a queen. It can change to a queen. Yes. If this pawn can trek, manage to survive all the battles... Let's make a space here. I mean, this guy, there, there are no body here, no obstacles here. If this pawn should trek and get to this point, 
you can exchange it. You will promote this pawn to any other piece of your choice. And most times, it is good to promote the pawn to a queen because the queen is the most formidable force in the battlefield. It's, the queen is the strongest, the strongest force in this field, in this battlefield. So once this your pawn, you've managed, this pawn has managed facing so many different obstacles and finally it got to this point, the last point on the, op on the opposition side. It will be promoted to any piece at all. You can promote it to, to a knight, you can promote it to a queen, you can promote it to a rook, you can promote it to anything at all or you can even leave it as a pawn. But most times you take the advantage to promote this pawn into a queen the pawn becomes a queen you remove the pawn and then you put a queen there all right so this is why i love this pawn it can be promoted to a queen if it has actually shown very good stamina to survive all right so that is how the pawn moves forward ever backward never one step or double steps and then it can be promoted to a queen if it gets to the final position then also, the pawn has another movement, which is only done when the pawn wants to terminate an opponent's piece. Like I said, the pawn can only move forward, 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 one, one step or double step for the first time. But it can also move diagonally, one step only, diagonally, one step only, and one step only. Diagonally, one step only. Diagonal movement is only one step. It cannot move diagonal, double step. Diagonal movement is only one step. One step. Sideways, one step. This is only possible if the pawn wants to terminate an opponent's piece. For example, if this pawn is here, this pawn may take advantage to, to terminate this one. It will take this one out and you say you've terminated this you've taken this out of the out of the field so this is how the pawn terminates it terminates sideways diagonally it terminates diagonally it doesn't terminate this way it doesn't terminate for um, vertically okay. if this pawn is here you can't use this to terminate this you can only use this to terminate this or you use this to terminate this so this is how the, the pawn terminates. This is how the pawn destroys. It destroys diagonally. Um, yeah, diagonally. It destroys diagonally. Okay? There's another move for the pawn. <clears throat> the pawn has another move. I hope we are getting this movement I'm for the pawn. You. Because this video is going to be for the pawn. So the pawn has a special movement. If this pawn manages to get to the fifth line or the fifth rank in this chess chessboard we have this first row we call it the first rank this second line is called the second rank the third rank the fourth rank then if this pawn crosses its boundary into the fifth rank for example gets here all right this pawn now is on the opponent's fourth rank so it has crossed its own boundary is a very special pawn once it gets to this level and per adventure this pawn makes a double move it must be a double move to this level when this happens there is a movement that the pawn makes which is a very special move it is called ampersand ampersand now this movement grants this pawn the permission to terminate this pawn this way. Remember, the pawn only moves Vertical. vertically Vertical. and terminates diagonally. But in this situation, this pawn is granted the permission to terminate this guy horizontally. horizontally. At the same time, it will change squares. It will terminate this guy and enter here. Did you see that? Yes. Now this move can be put to a, a special advantage when playing. 
you can use it to your advantage all right let me explain it again i said the pawn has a special move called m percent this move is only possible when the pawn when a pawn has made a move has moved from its home rank which is the the second rank the third fourth or fifth even if the pawn made a double move here and comes here it's still okay it's still permitted this move is called m percent m percent movement of the pawn and it's only meant for the pawn and this move is not for every pawn it is only for a pawn that has managed to get to this level the fifth rank once a pawn gets to it to this fifth rank once a pawn gets to this fifth rank it can make this move of m percent but this movement is not only dependent on the pawn yeah. also it also depends on the opponent's pawn all right so if this my opponent comes here i can take this pawn out this way this is not m percent this is normal termination of this pawn now m percent is only possible if this guy makes a double move to this position but if this guy okay let's say i'm right here this guy makes this move then i come here and he comes here m percent is not possible in this position because although i am on my fifth rank but this guy did not make a double move he made one step one step so m percent is only possible if i on the fifth position on the fifth rank and this guy makes a double move to this level then m percent is possible let's start it again if i make this move he makes his move i come here he comes here and i come here and he makes another move let's say he makes this move i can't take m percent this way even if he makes another move i can't take m percent this way the reason is because this pawn did not make a double move from here direct okay. so m percent movement is not only dependent on one player it depends on both players it is only possible if i make my move to the fifth rank and this guy accidentally makes a double move beside me to this fourth rank rank one rank two rank three rank four i can make m percent terminate this guy then come here okay so that's m percent do you have any questions sir I'm all right all right so let's summarize the movement for the pawn again the first movement of the pawn is single move single move from any corner single move all right make yours please single move all right then the pawn can also make a double move first movement double move this way Double move. All right. Now, I want to ask a question. Can I move it? Can I make a double move from here? No, no. Just like you said, you said double move can only be made at the first move. Yeah. Very good. You can't make a double move again because you already made your first move. Thank you very much. I love that. So that's it. Once the pawn has made a first move, a first one step move from here, a first one step move, it can't make a double move again. The permission to make a double move has been cancelled yeah. is no longer allowed so i can only make a double move for my first move all right yeah, okay all right so let's come again okay. so the first and second moves of the pawn double move one step move has been explained properly now the third move of the pawn is its termination move all right let's move here Double all right move. and i move here 
Okay, just like you said, the point can only terminate diagonally. Yes, so yes. The, the, these are not pronounced now. Yes, I and you are free. Terminate him diagonally. You are free, and this is a free food for you. <laughs> You've just taken out this pawn freely because there is no, um, let me say, no obstacle on your way. Yes, yes. Nobody to terminate this idiot right here. Yes. So this guy you just terminated now was a free meal. You just won a free free ticket, free meal. You've tried. So this is how to terminate a pawn, an opponent pawn, diagonal movement. Yes. But you, you need to be careful because terminating this guy from here, you just left your king open yes. to a direct attack. So you don't eat, you don't terminate every piece you see. You need to open your eyes. There are some pieces you terminate and it will turn to uh, a problem for you. Uh, All right? Yeah, like a loophole. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it, it creates a loophole for you and it's not good. So you need to be watchful. Check check every corner to see if i should do this will i leave my king open or will i leave any other piece that is better open to attack all right okay that's the third movement of the pawn is termination move which is diagonal all right then the ampersand movement all right let's see that this is my double move okay make your move mm. Okay, let me make another move. Let me move right here. Let me make a double. Let me just make this one move. Any move, any move. All right, I can. Now, this pawn has been promoted to its fifth rank. Okay, all right. I made a double move. Now, this pawn, my opponent has mistakenly made a double move beside this pawn that is on this on his fifth rank already now this and this m percent can be made on this pawn but cannot be made on this pawn it can be made on this pawn because this pawn made two step um one step move one step move to this position but this pawn made two step move at once to get here m percent is possible on this pawn this pawn i can terminate this pawn this way I can't terminate it this way but I can terminate this pawn this way and mind you when you terminate when you take take out a pawn through m percent the pawn will not remain in the position of that pawn of the opponent pawn it will go forward go forward the normal way it would have been if it if it was the normal termination so I will take it this way then come here that's like a double move for the pawn also so that's m percent move then my opponent can as well take out this idiot so that's why before you take out any any piece you check if you taking it out will leave you um at risk also all right so well you can take it out then i also have this guy here i'll, I'll still take this guy out all right so i can also take this guy out so in this way you have one piece of mine i have two pieces of yours so on the long run, I am at advantage here. Yes, I am at advantage here because I have two of your pieces. You have, well, have one, one of my, just one of mine. So this is the essence of this game. Whatever you, any move you make, make sure that you are at advantage. That's the essence of this game. You, you don't just take, take out a, a piece just like that because you just feel like taking it out. No. Make sure that there is a reason for taking it out and make sure that any piece you take out you are at advantage the video is just to show the movements of the pawn i hope you all understand how the pawn moves now our next video will be looking at the movement of the night a very special one thank you very much for watching